Hello again, this is Brian from IDERA, and in the second round of our demo videos here, I am going to go over the end user experience inside of our OneSoft CDP server. So as you can see, we're logged in. I only have access to the volume that's assigned to the user. Uh, you can see the disk safes that live on there, uh, my limits that I have set for the user. Here are the agents that are assigned to my user. Uh, the disk safes. And the policies. Our recovery points. When I create a policy I'm able to go in and set up a MySQL database or control panel. Uh, in this instance, this is a C panel box. I've gone in, I've added the control panel bits to the, the setup. Uh, when I set up the policy, I gave it a name, a description. I assigned the agent to a disk safe and I gave it a schedule. So this I'm backing up hourly at minute zero. Of course, you can go in, you can set up, you know, this minutely, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. Um, the data retention, I'm going to keep 10 recovery points. That's exactly 10 hours. And here I set up control panels. So we support uh, Virtuoso 4, a C panel, um, C panel inside of Virtuoso containers, Plesk, Plesk inside of a Virtuoso container, uh, Parallels Pro, Interworks, Direct Admin, and HSphere. Um, adding the instance was very simple straightforward you just give it any name you want you select the type of control panel that you want to back up any advanced options uh, if this is inside of a virtuoso container you would put the container ID there so I have that set up I've done a backup uh, so when we browse to our recovery points uh, I can select any point in time I can just go over here click on our control panel icon and that's going to bring up a list of the users that are in the control panel. So you, you can see I have 10 users set up inside of cPanel. Um, there's a directory. Now I have a few options here. So I, you know, users requested a backup, uh, you know, me to send a file of their data. I have a few options. I can select this user and I can download the file. In this case, I'll select the zip file, uh, download the file name, I can generate a file name where I can specify one, and then I can just download it. What we'll get is a control panel download, a zip file containing this user's home directory. And everything that's inside of that directory will be downloaded. We can send the file over to the user, or alternatively, we can send it over to the agent, and the agent being the cPanel server that we've got backed up. So whenever that user logs in to their control panel, they'll be they'll have that that backup sitting in their directory and they can do whatever they want to with it. I've set up a policy here for a MySQL backup. Um, just a quick note, CDP supports MS SQL as well as MySQL. Um, in this demo, I'm just going to demonstrate the MySQL portion of this. When I set up the policy, I just simply went over to the MySQL tab. I supplied all the information about the MySQL instance. We're going to log into the MySQL database. We're going to lock and flush the database. Um, so we can make sure that uh, there's no corruption while we're taking the uh, snapshot. After I've successfully done a backup, I can just browse to the recovery points and open up any of the databases from any of our recovery points and restore them straight from here. Just leave the defaults here and you're ready to restore. So I'd like to show you our cPanel plugin. Uh, here you're going to see this is a we're logged into the cPanel server as a cPanel user. We've got our plugin installed. There you see our R1 soft uh, icon. Users ha simply have to click on it. They're redirected over to the CDP server. We use our cPanel credentials to log them in. They're jailed. 
into their own directory here. They can browse all the recovery points that we have uh, and they can restore their own files from here, download them and send them over to the agent just the same way that the administrator could. Um, right here we're going to go in and browse through some files. Um, like I said you can you can download them. Here I'm just going to restore a few files really quick. A couple small files. We'll restore anything that the user owns. If it's a root owned, uh, we're not going to restore it, of course. Uh, it has to be owned by the user. And there you go. We restored those two files. It was really fast. Um, so any point in time that they want to roll back, they can restore those files to there. We can also download them. We can send an archive back over to the agent and it'll be sitting in our home directory whenever we SSH in. And that's it. It's that simple.